Okay, welcome to our reading class. Okay, are you excited for a fun learning session? But before that, kids, we need to pray. So we need to bow our head, close our eyes, and we will pray. Father, Father God, come be with us today. Fill our hearts with joy. Fill our minds with learning. Fill our classrooms with peace. Fill our lessons with fun. Fill our friendships with kindness. Fill our school with love. Okay, again, kids, are you excited for today? I hope you are excited. So, we will start by, I will show these pictures and you will tell where we can find them. Okay, so the first one is, can't you see it? There is a teacher and a blackbird. Where do you think the teacher stayed? Isn't it in the school? Okay, you're correct. It's in the school. The next one is the books. Where can you find a book? Isn't it in the school also? Yes, kids, you are correct. Okay, can't you see these things? The crayons? The scissors and the other things that you can see are also can uh, are also fine in the pool. How about this one? Do you know what is this class? So this is a black pole, and we can see this in our school also. Kids, now we will start with the keywords. These keywords are the passage with our lesson for today. And we will encounter them as we go on with our lesson. So this is, these are the passage. First one is the activity. Second is the subject. The third one is the classroom. The fourth one is to get along. Next is to show respect. Face. And the blog. So those are the different keywords that we will encounter as we go on to our lesson. So let's go with the first one. First one is the activity. What is the meaning of the activity? The activity is a thing that you do at school for an educational experience. Like what? Reading, writing, and playing also is an activity our school and we can also learn by playing. Next one is the subject. What is the meaning of the subject? Subject is, is are the lessons we study in school. Most common subjects at school are the English, Math, and Kino. And for the day, for this year kids we have five subjects. Okay, the next one is the classmates. Classmate kids is a student who is in the same class. So we are in grade one mark class and your classmates are 17, isn't it? So all of them are your classmates. Next one is to get along. What is the meaning of get along? To have a friendly relationship. Even though kids, we are not seeing each other physically, but we can get along by, uh, by seeing our classmates in online sessions. We can make friends through online sessions. Next one is show respect. So what is the meaning of show respect, kids? Show respect is being polite and kind to others or to honor them. Like what we are doing to the Elders, isn't it? We are respecting them. We show respect, especially to our teachers, to our parents. Next one is to face. So the meaning of face kids is to look at or to look in some direction. For example, uh, can you please face the wall? So all you have to do kids is to face the wall. So that is the meaning of face. Okay, the next one is... Flag. Do you know what is flag, kids? 
flag, a piece of fabric with a distinctive design and colors, and it, it is used as a symbol. Okay, do you know what is our flag, kids? Do you know what are the colors of our flag? Isn't it? We have color red, yellow, and blue in our flag, which is the Philippine flag, isn't it, class? Okay. Okay, now let's listen to our passage. American School Textbook Reading Key. Easy one. Unit 1. Our day at school. We go to school each day. At school, we do many different activities. Every morning, we show respect to the flag. We stand up and face the flag. We put our right hand over our heart. And we say the Pledge of Allegiance. We learn many subjects at school. We learn how to read and write. We learn how to solve math problems. We read maps and learn about the world we live in. In art and music classes, we do many fun activities. We study together and play together with our classmates. We eat lunch in the cafeteria. We go to the library to get books. We play ball on the playground. We get along with each other. So now let's discuss our passage. So our passage is all about our day at school. So even though we are not going to school, but we can also go to school by means of meetings in our online session. We go to school each day. At school, we do many different activities. But for this year, we cannot go to school, but we can do many activities by means of meeting in our online sessions. And this is an example of school. Every morning, we show respect to the flag. We stand up and face the flag. We put our right hand over our hearts and we say the Pledge of Allegiance. So show respect, kids. We can also do that by means of standing and putting our right hand in our uh, chest and we will sing the national flag. So we are showing respect to our flag. This is our school. And look at the kids showing respect to our flag. So that is showing respect. We learn many subjects at school. We learn how to read, how to write. We learn how to solve math problems, isn't it? We read maps, learn about the world we live in. In art and music classes, we do many fun activities. So these are the activities. Look at the kids reading. Second one is solving math. Next is reading maps. Next, look, they are enjoying singing and dancing. And the last one is doing art class. So even though we are not in our school kids, still we can do art class. So don't worry about that, kids. We will send your art class at your, at your home. We study together and play together with our classmates. We eat lunch in the cafeteria. Cafeteria class is also called the canteen. We go to library to get books. We play ball on the playground. We get along with each other. So kids, is neat when we are in the library, what will you do? So we need to be quiet and 
What are you doing in the playground? Of course, you play, isn't it? We have time to play in our playground in school. Okay, so this is the canteen or the cafeteria. Okay, the boy bought uh, his food to the ca canteen or the cafeteria. Next is the library. Third one is the playground. Now kids, kindly look at this video about our school. You can see the different places in this video. Okay, listen kids. So, so kids, that is our video about our, so our school where we can see different places and different things like the ball pen, books, and the places are the library, the cafeteria, and the clinic. So those are the some examples of different things and places we can see in our school. Now, for the summary of our lesson, kids, in school, we do and learn many things, isn't it, kids? Okay. So for your homework, kids, please answer page 9 in your reading book. Again, please answer page 9 in your reading book. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you, kids, for listening. Hope to see you soon. Goodbye.